Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Makebox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at a filament from 3D Fuel called Eptwind version 2 or Hemp PLA. So let's have a look after intro. So before I start, I want to thank Makebox for sending me the Makebox sample packets. They are a sponsor of this video series and I thank them for that. But let's have a look at the sticker for this filament. So here they call it Ant Wind version 2 Hemp PLA. Um, it's from 3D Fuel. Um, here they say you could print at 180 to 210 and the room temperature to 60C. Um, speed not listed. Um, here they state that it may wear brass nozzle and the hardened steel is advised. Um, let's say here it's an updated formula with the version 2. Um, they reduced the particle size of the hemp material and they increased the amount of it. And they say here it's uh, using an industrial hemp uh, that's a natural uh, grown and doesn't have any pesticides or, or any any additives like uh, they have to do with corn but uh, this is a filament that has no dye in it it's just a raw material it's like a natural brown and there's a large amount of visible biofill something that you don't get with a start PLA um, I tried out this filament I'm gonna show you my results well, the first print didn't go really well I was printing on my Prusa MK3 with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and I was getting jams and, and extruder was skipping and I was trying to increase the temperature and then I got this bubbling it was like cooking the filament I was going up to 230 degrees thinking that the filament might need a higher temperature but that really only cooked the filament I decided to change out the nozzle on the MK2 printer and put a 0.6 uh, millimeter nozzle on it and then I printed out this maker coin and I had no issues after after that with a 0.6 millimeter nozzle and um, this printed out quite nice there is uh, somewhat uh, stringing in it but the surface finish is quite nice and the, the letters came out excellent and the logo came out excellent but you can see there's a tiny amount of stringing but it's really fine stringing and it's easy to remove with a, with a heat gun and uh, it's like a paper cardboard uh, brown a little bit darker maybe than a cardboard brown but it has a really you can feel it's a different texture on this filament than a normal PLA it somewhat grabs your finger so it has a definite different texture to it but the print quality on this maker coin came out excellent and then printed out this Benchy and here you can see the underside of it prints out really nice and you can see some of the particles in the filament it's uh, some brown and some a little bit more darker brown particles in it but uh, beside the, the stringing as you can see the, the print came out really nice um, not really big issues besides the stringing and those can be handled afterwards so I was quite happy with the filament, but here maybe in the in the chimney you can see a little bit of melting issues. So you really have to have a good cooling with this filament. And that was maybe the one issue I had. And I then printed out Mr. Belly and that started to <laughs> come out really strange. And this is not a fault of the filament. What happened here is the part cooling fan on my Prusa MK2 printer decided to die. <laughs> so this printed without a part cooling fan and ended up being a big blob. And I was not watching the printer, it just came to it like this. So I was really surprised of what had happened here. But I changed out the part cooling fan and then printed out this one. And this came out really nice. And Again, a little bit of stringing, but uh, print quality on the other side, the, the letters came out really nice. Um, maybe layer adhesion is, is not really uh, the strong side of this filament. I can easy, easily break the model apart, but uh, it has a special look to it and a special feel. But 
prints like here on the back that it's uh, really smooth surface and really looking nice but as you can see it's really smooth but maybe layer adhesion is not the, the strongest <laughs> but mr belly is is a difficult print uh, i print without any infill so it's just two perimeters and it's easy to to break it apart so <laughs> it's, a, it's a test print to meant to be broken <laughs> but this will be it for this filament the wind version 2 hemp slash pla from 3d fuel it's one of those bio materials that they are playing with they have a partnership with a company that they are trying out some strange materials <laughs> maybe more biodegradable materials than a normal pla and um, it's it's uh, has a has its value in in that but it's not uh, maybe good for a mechanical part because of layer adhesion it has a nice look to it so you could give this filament a try but i really need to have a 0.6 millimeter nozzle i could not print with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle it was just jamming up so that is something that you have to have in mind if you're gonna order this filament but this will be it for this video. I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.